So this was seven days ago from TMZ. UFO sighting metallic orb flying over Iraq alongside spy plane in newly released photo. This is TMZ. I don't know if you've seen the picture, but you can see it. I think it was released from Jeremy Corbell. It is a orbed shape flying object, apparently taken from a spy plane, what would be seemingly moving. It is very strange picture. And this relates because I am unsure if anybody else has seen these U orb UFO videos on their TikTok. I've seen a lot of them. Most, uh, some of them are definitely fake, but some of them are a little weird. Expert Jeremy Corbell tells TMZ the newly released photo is super significant. Not just significant, super significant. In the, because it's the first time folks get to see an official government filmed UFO from a conflict zone. He says there's still tons of questions about these objects, but it's a huge step toward UFO transparency and discovery. Pretty unnerving. Harvard physicist Avi Loeb recently joined on TMZ Live to discuss the growing threat of UFOs telling us the government likely does not know squad about the objects. They probably do. They're just not, they're in the know. Trump knew, Biden doesn't even know where he's at today, but I'm sure they probably told Biden about the aliens four times already. He just forgot. Oh, I'm, yeah, this video was really strange. Hmm. Especially combined with all the TikTok UFO. I wonder if I can get a compilation. There's a compilation of them all. It was like within a week, it was nothing but these orb shaped UFOs on TikTok. I kept getting them. Maybe I gotta type in orb. He saw this flying orb. Yeah, here's one right here. Oh my gosh. That one moved. Aliens are real. Dang, I wish I could find that freaking... Um, compilation. But I know... I am of the authority. Let's just say your boy got probed. So I know they're real. Seen them. I am one. Aliens are here. And they are, they're here to stop all the TikTok gym girl influencers from shaming men. So any more of you TikTok girl influence, gym girl influencers, unrightfully shamed dudes, an alien's gonna come down and take you in a ship. Promise you, I've talked to them. That's what they just said. That's what they told me they're gonna do from now on. They're done. They're not playing games. We are done. So, best of luck to y'all. Y'all wanna keep doing that. Be nice to each other. Don't, if you go to the fucking gym and you don't have friends, just, if you're, this one's for my dudes out there. Cause I quit the gym, mostly cause of money, but I, I definitely don't wanna go anymore now. Um, all I gotta say, if you, my bros, just mind your fucking business, I guess. Just look forward, don't look in, don't look around. Um, I mean, don't even look. Don't don't look at anybody. Just remember, you're there to pump it up and um, get that swollen. Just keep your keep to yourself. Put your iPods in. Listen to some fucking Metallica. 
Slayer. Don't look at any females. Except nice old ladies. You know they, yeah, if you're gonna look in a female's direction, don't help. If the girl is under 35 years old, don't even think about helping her. They don't need help putting up their weights. They don't need, hey, you forgot your phone. Don't talk to them, don't even look at them. There's gonna be old ladies in there. You help the old ladies, look at them. They come from a time different. They're not gonna, you know, completely obliterate your life and put you on blast on the internet. These ratchet young Gen Z millennial girls, let them, they'll, I'm, we go hungry and with them is what I'm thinking, but that ain't gonna happen. Just don't go to the gym, do your thing. Don't look at nobody. Don't talk to nobody. And just stay alert, stay vigilant, because they're out there. Next thing you know, you know, you look the wrong way. Next thing you know, you got 14 fucking million views on um, this fucking TikTok or Instagram. And you know, jobs will fire you for this shit now. That's what's fucked up. Like, hopefully that doesn't happen to him or something, but you know, like the Apple dude who was fired for quoting that movie, you know, they're gonna, they'll fire people over this shit now. So don't do it. Just mind your business. All right, I hope. No, it's not a kite. Absolutely not. It is not a kite. Sydney likes the live. Sydney likes the live. Sydney likes the live. Sydney likes the live. Hey guys, Sydney's liking the live. I think I want to say Sydney's the only one in the live. <laughs> okay, probably don't even think anybody's watching. But if you're listening to this in your car or whatever, you listen to podcast streaming stuff. I love y'all. Thanks for making it at the end. Um, if you made it this far, um, hey, what's up? Love y'all. I'm getting off. I'm done. I'm, I'll probably be gay. I think I might game in a little bit. Oh, I think I'm gonna get the new Harry Potter game. I, I damn, I wanted to talk about that too. Apparently, there's a lot of trans people who, or people who identified as trans, saying that the new Harry Potter game is transphobic, dude. I, mean, I can't get into that now, but I think next solo podcast, because I know the next musical guest game wanted me to, they ain't gonna, gonna wanna talk about it, but I do, I think, I'm considering, I've been streaming Red Dead, but I think when the new Harry Potter game, game comes out, because it does look awesome, um, I think I'm gonna might stream that as much as I can and start playing that, but there is some controversy. I think we all know the controversy surrounding, um, what's her name? I can't remember the lady who wrote Harry Potter. I wasn't that big of a fan, but the game, I did like the movies when I was a kid. Not, I mean, I grew up, I'm like most of you turds, but the game does look fun. But well, maybe next time so we'll do a solo podcast, we'll start off if I can remember with the uh, controversy around the new Harry Potter game. But if you listen this far, I love you. I'm out. I'm gonna go smoke a cigarette, y'all are the best. Thank you to all my friends. Thank you to support Ulstrays.com. Y'all check out the merch. Love y'all.